In this video, I'll be showing you all things memberships. First, how to set up a membership, then how to sell a membership, and then how to reference it on a client card, and how to verify if somebody's membership is readily available. So first things first, we'll want to go to the navigation bar and set up a membership. So you'll go to set up and then set up memberships and you'll click add new. Um, for the training purposes, I'm going to select an existing membership. So first you'll give it a name, you'll make sure it's active and you'll assign it a price. You can also assign it service package. So under setup services, you can create different packages and you can assign those to the membership. Every time the membership deals or, or bills, it will auto credit this package to the client's account. The duration of time in which this bills, whether that's monthly, quarterly, or yearly, that'll be completed during the sale of the membership. You can also have these services expire automatically at the time of every bill. So for example, if you bill monthly on the 1st, it would auto expire at midnight on the 31st, any remaining services in that package. If you have this unchecked, it will allow the user to use packages from previous months. And then you'll go ahead and click save. All right, so the next step is to sell a membership. So you'll go to member check-in and click new member. From here, I can either search for an existing client or I can add a brand new client. So in here, I can put in Monica. I can update, you know, birth date, gender, um, country code, uh, or sorry, not country code, their mobile phone number, if we can send them text messages or not, and their email. Down here, I give it a membership ID. Then I assign it a membership type. So we'll do our blow dry membership. And then I can select a payment type. So Clover payment. And then of course, I would like this to auto bill. I put in my card number. For all you uh, characters out there, this is an expired credit card. Um, and then of course the name on the card and the expiration, just choose a random date, a CVV and a zip. And then of course our first payment will be the same amount as the monthly payment. You can update this. So maybe if there's a startup cost or something, you can change this amount. And then um, you can also select a plan for monthly, quarterly or yearly. So I'll go ahead and do monthly and click first payment and save. So you'll notice this little message in the upper right hand corner that says your request is in process. Sometimes this can take a little while and it will let you know that it's still going. And then a receipt will appear. If you would like to email the receipt to the client, you'll click email receipt and type in their email. And click send. And now they'll receive an email from that membership per purchase. Okay, so if we want to rep first, let's see if oh, let's go ahead and use the membership. So I'm going to book an appointment for Monica. You know what? Book this with someone who does blow dries. One second. So now I select my service, blow dry, and click save. I'm going to check her in. And then go ahead and check her out. And you'll see here under blow dry, it says package. So that means that there's no money to be accepted. I do still need to close out my ticket. The reason we don't auto close these is just in case Monica wants to purchase any product or we need to add anything else. So then I go to payments and I select no sale and I add that to my ticket. That'll reflect that this blow dry has been used. Next, I can also go to Monica's client card and go to her accounts tab. And what you'll see here is the details of this membership. So she has a blow dry membership. She purchased it originally today. It's a $49 per month membership at auto bills. The billing status is currently approved and her next bill date is 30 days from today, which is a monthly plan. All those details will be here. The packages associated will be listed under packages directly below that will show you the date that the package started and when it expires, if it does, and then the ticket number associated with that sale and the package name and the total um, 
number of unused. So since we used the one by booking her appointment today, it'll show me that she has three remaining that are unused for blow dries that are a membership. Traditionally, packages would have a value assigned over here. The unused value will appear below. Once these tickets or once these packages expire, they will not be included in the unused value. Okay. So next, if you just want to see if a membership is up to date, you go to member check-in and you enter scan or swipe the membership number and click submit. It will show you the details of their membership and a checkbox. If it wasn't valid, this will show an X and it will have an error message. Thank you for watching and have a great day.